Hello my precious little dragons, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited, I am going to be talking to you about two books I absolutely adore, about two amazing dogs, How She Collates by Leslie Newman and Greyfriars Bobby by Ruth Brown. And I am going to introduce you to my new puppy. So, first things first, I have to introduce you to the puppy. Oh my goodness, he's so big. He's so big. Hi. Hi. Why are you being so awkward today? Yeah. Hi. So this is Aria. We we're working on naming her Aria. She was originally called Lola. So now she's going to be Aria, which I totally forgot about the Game of Thrones stuff. When I was thinking of that, I was thinking of the Inheritance Cycle, because I'm a book nerd, you know? Anyway, so he's going to be Aria. She is a Husky Pyrenees mix. She is 11 weeks old. She's teething, so she's trying to chew on everything because her poor little mouth hurts. Aww. Little mouth hurts. Anyway, she is super sweet. She knows most of her commands already. She's mostly house trained. She's just a good little girl. Yeah, she's a good little girl. <gasps> Who's a good girl? She's a good girl. Anyway, so she was originally adopted out by someone else and then she got returned for reasons, but it's hard to tell because you're just so sweet. Yeah, you're just so sweet. You just need something to chew on because you're a puppy. That's what teething puppies do. You have to chew things because your mouth hurts. Yeah, she likes kisses and she's a little bit of a bed hog. I got her yesterday and she wouldn't sleep in her bed. She had to sleep with me and she took up the middle of the bed like a little hog. Yes, yes you did. We're gonna have to teach you how to sleep on the side of the bed. So I actually have room. Yeah. We're gonna have to learn that. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about Greyfriars Bobby. So, no, we don't eat books. No, we don't eat books. That's sacrilegious. Yeah, that's sacrilegious. So, Greyfriars Bobby was a dog in Edinburgh, Scotland, and he had an owner named Old Jack, and one day Old Jack died, and, um, you know, Bobby followed, Bobby followed his owner absolutely everywhere, and so he followed his body into the churchyard where he was buried. And he went back there pretty much every day and he was given lots of food and love until he died. And now he has a statue and a tombstone in Greyfriars Churchyard as well. And it's just super sweet, just obviously a tale of a dog who loved his owner. And then the next one I would argue is more famous. And this is Hachiko Waits, um, which is the story of course of Hachiko. No, we don't eat books. We do not eat books. You hear me, Aria? We don't eat books. So Hachi Kuwaits is the story of a dog named Hachi, and he lived in Japan, and this was 1924, so yeah, early 1900s. So Hachi was a lot like Bobby in that he really loved his owner. His owner was a professor, and he would follow him to the train station every day, and he'd see him off, he'd go back home, and at the end of the day, he would come and he would wait for his owner to get off the train. And then one day while he was at work, his owner had a heart attack and he died, and so obviously he didn't come home on the train. And so Hachi was waiting at the train station for his owner to come back, and he didn't, so he waited, and he waited, and he waited, and he wouldn't leave. He just, he just wouldn't leave. So. You know, everyone eventually figured out what happened and, you know, they tried to maybe adopt Hachi out, but he just wouldn't leave. He'd always come back to the train station and wait for his owner and he waited there every day until he died. And now he has a statue at Shibuya Station that I've actually seen, which actually I've seen right first, Bobby statue too. But, you know, got to make all those dog sites. Got to see all of the famous doggos. But yeah, I've loved the story of Hachi for forever, it feels like. I got this. I got this a couple years ago. No. We don't eat books. We don't eat books. No. You know better. If you're gonna live in my house, you're going to learn to respect the books. Anyway, so I just wanted to do a quick little video to tell you about two lovely little children's books about good doggos that you should definitely read. I definitely did not just like sob during reading Hachiko Waits. This one's obviously a little bit longer. It's a little bit more of a like mini chapter book. Oh my goodness. 
What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? You gotta hold for the photo op. Yeah, you gotta hold for the photo op. Yeah, so Great Fires Bobby is a little bit more of like your traditional, your traditional children's book where it's just like, it's just a picture book. No, we read books, we don't eat them. I'm gonna have to protect my books from her, aren't I? So this one is a little bit more of your traditional children's book where it's just illustrated. Um, Hachika Waits does have illustrations, but it's got a lot more of the words, so it's a little bit more of like an early, early middle grade, maybe? Hard to tell. Anyway, so, so sweet. Both stories. So, so sweet, just like you. Yeah. I almost named her Yue. Still halfway to beat it, but I think I'm going with Aria. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Yeah, for the kisses. All done. All done. Okay. So that'll be it for now. I just wanted to make a quick little video to introduce you to my friend and to a couple really good little dog books. So I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I love you all so, so much. Stay magic. Keep reading. And maybe go pet a puppy today.